Hi guys, Dave Wilson here again. Now you probably know that Dremel are really famous for their little handheld rotary tools. But did you know that Dremel have also made little gas torches as well? This is the latest version and being Dremel of course it's absolutely packed with features. So come with me, let's take a look at it. Follow me. This is the Dremel Versatip torch. Comes in a nice full colour cardboard box so it makes a great gift for someone. This particular one is the 2000-6 kit with the six tips and as we see a metal tin. Here's the tin, nicely embossed with the Dremel logo and inside we have some instructions. Do read them but as with most Dremel products the instructions are a bit lacking, hence my videos, so keep watching. Inside you might think that there's something missing here, there isn't, the soldering tip is already attached to the end. We have the torch itself, the storage cap, the wide flame head, deflector, shaping knife, cutting knife, hot air tip, uh, soldering tin and a little sponge there, another little tin to put some hot things in, some tin electrical solder and a couple of wrenches for changing the tips. There's also a little extra storage space here if you get any extra tips. The torch itself might look complicated, but it's really quite simple. I'll just remove the soldering tip and let's have a look at the torch itself. At the end, you have the catalyst. This heats up and it's what the different tips screw into. This part is the flame guard and it gets hot, so be careful. The flame guard nut and if we remove the flame guard inside, you'll see you have the ceramic insulator and this is where the flame actually comes out from. This is the child safety lock, which is attached to the trigger. This switch for continuous use. Flame control knob. This part is the fuel tank. And at the end, you have the filling valve. To fill, it's just like a cigarette lighter. So hold it vertical, turned off, obviously, and away from any naked flames. Use standard butane bottle and press down firmly. It only takes a few seconds, when gas starts to erupt and bubble out from the top, then it's full. With a full charge, it will burn for anywhere from 45 minutes to 90 minutes, depending on the flame size and how you're using it, so it's very economical. So let's start with a simple open flame setup. For this, you need to remove the catalyst on the end. So unscrew the flame guard and the catalyst just pops out. Pop the flame guard back on, so we've now got an open flame. To ignite it, push forward with your thumb on the child lock, to just to rotate it, and pull back the trigger. The gas will flow and ignite, and as long as you have the trigger pulled back, the gas will flow and you'll have a flame. Release it, and it will shut off, and the flame will extinguish. So just again, push, pull, do what you're doing, and release. Simple. If you want to keep the torch on permanently, then when the flame is on, just move the lock switch to keep it on. You can also control the size of the flame here. This is the smallest, great for use with the hot knives and the various heating tips. Medium, so this is a great flame for soldering jewellery and at full power you can see it's quite a decent sized flame. To turn off, flick the lock button again and it will extinguish. Just note that you can't lock the gas open until the trigger is back and the flame is lit. Obviously that stops you just wasting all your gas. For detailed paint stripping you can also pop on the wide flame head. So you've still got an open flame, just wider. When I first started out making jewellery, all of my Celtic chains were made with a small butane torch, just like this one, using silver and gold solder. The small flame is great for fine detail, but perfectly big enough for larger items like rings and bracelets. Remember, when I talk about jewellery soldering, I mean using silver and gold solder. Don't ever use the electrical tin solder on precious metals. The solder here is just for electrical work. So, let's take a look at that. To use any of the tips, you need to reinsert the catalyst. So remove the flame guard, when it's cool, obviously, and pop in the catalyst. Note which way round it goes. 
screw the flame go back on and ensure that the catalyst is tight. Finger tight is usually fine, but you can always use the two little wrenches if you need to. Let's start with the soldering tip. Set the torch to a medium sized flame and ignite it. And it will take a few seconds to heat up. Just touch the solder to it and when it melts you know it's ready. Now you can just use this like a normal electrical soldering iron for connecting wire and small electrical components. But the great advantage with this is that it doesn't need electricity. So it's perfect for DIY jobs when the electric's turned off. Just put a drop of water on the little sponge and you can use that for cleaning the tip when you're finished. You can stand the torch up if you want to free up both hands. Whenever I do an electrical job, I also like to use heat shrink tubing to leave a neat and safe joint. So for this, use the hot air tip, which again screws into the catalyst end, either on its own for a gentle heating of plastic and shrink wraps, or you can also use the deflector, and this helps to deflect the heat around both sides of the wire, so great for heat shrink. For larger pieces, you might also try the wide flame head with the hot air tip, whatever works for you. The hot cutting knife is a fantastic thing if you need to cut things like nylon rope, cord or webbing straps. It melts and stops the ends from fraying and it's also great for cutting plastic sheet as well. Likewise the shaping knife gives a wedge shaped tool a bit larger for working with plastics, nylon ropes and generally anything that you need to apply a little bit of heat to. So it's a great tool. Obviously I'm a jeweller and it's great for that but this thing is so versatile I do use it for electrical jobs, soldering and heat shrink because of the portability um, because of the built-in ignition it's just so quick and convenient. Finally just a few safety tips guys obviously after you've been using it the tips and the flame guard can still be very hot for several minutes afterwards so be careful if you want to change the tips and just make sure it's cool first Note too that although it comes in a metal tin, the insert is plastic and there's foam on the lid, which perhaps wasn't a great idea, because if you put it back in the box hot, then you might melt the box and get molten plastic over the end of the torch, which will probably ruin it. Likewise, you've got the travelling cap. Now, I'm not sure how heat sensitive this is, so don't put this on whilst the end is still hot either. But to be fair, that's just like any other soldering iron or gas torch. You must leave it to cool before changing accessories or packing it away. So yeah, it's a brilliant tool and I thoroughly recommend it. And of course, being Dremel, the price is great value too. It's a perfect gift for any jeweller, crafter, hobbyist, well, anyone really. With so many uses, it's a great addition to absolutely anyone's toolbox. Also, watch out for my video coming soon about the pyrography tips for this. Uh, we can check out some wood burning with it. Until then, I've been Dave Wilson. Thanks for watching and I'll see you real soon on the next video. Bye for now.